Hey loves, welcome to Melbourne. Super cute view from my hotel balcony. So I'm here for three days. Very excited to check out some Melbourne Fashion Week events. And of course, I am going to hit the Melbourne thrift stores hard. So I thought you might like to come along for the ride. First stop, thrifting Hi. with this girl. Let's do it. So North Melbourne store. North Melbourne. Yes. Very cute. It is very cute. Let's go. It's very cool. It's a cute store. Give us a thrift tip, girl. You've been thrifting for a while. I do always go to the cabinets to find the higher end oh. um, gems. Um, Smart. So. I tend to gravitate to there first. Interesting. Then, I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, I do. I like the designer and, you know, unique She's things. She's bougie, this one. Just a little. I really like all the rage at the moment. They're all added at short. Yeah, that's true. What are liking? I like the returns rack too. That's so good. Or is this the returns rack? Oh, my God. These is this the like... returns rack? No, I'm no, confused. No, it's the new stuff. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. We're the annoying people yeah, that are looking through us. it. That's us. That's us. <laughs> 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 you do the same thing. You know, okay. You know, I understand. Hey, they're cute. Little Lakers, a little just on collab. That's cool. Yeah. We got a little bit of a booty Gucci. Ooh, love a bit of a bootleg. <laughs> and these are also really cool at the moment. I always look for like designer details. I yeah. look for the faux baguette, Fendi yeah, baguette yeah, here. Totally. And then this one caught my eye because of oh, cool. Chanel O. Chanello. Chanello. <laughs> and then look at this little guy. He's interesting. He's cute. Yeah. You could kind put, of Dior vibes. It is. Or you could put gold on it and make it a bit like Schiaparelli. Mm. That's pretty cute, that bag, actually. 12 bucks. Lord knows I don't need another bag. Mm. But I appreciate them. <laughs> Speaking of bootleg, it's cute, though. It's not a bad... <laughs> it's not a bad one. It what is. do you think? It's very... It's very spot on. Isn't it? And it doesn't have to be F for that, it could be F for Faye. <laughs> and sort of clueless vibes with one of your like Mickey T's yeah. or like and Care Dan. Bear. It'd be so cute. Yeah, that's a great colour. Yeah. It's like buttery Look yellow. at the power shoulder on that. Nice 80s vibe. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is it silk? I don't know. Probably not. That's, oh, that's really nice. That's really cool. It's nice and light. Polyester. Gosh, it's a nice mm. poly. I'm gonna try it on. I think you should. Mm -hmm. Maybe rude not to. It's like vintage as well. That's beautiful. How pretty. Look at the beading. Like even that with denim, like you know, to make Stunning. it a little bit more wearable. Or even like a little like a black high waisted pant. Yeah. Definitely. And strappy sandals. Very cute. That would maybe go with your coat mm. that you're about to try yeah. on too. I think you'd look beautiful in that. Very cute. It's good quality. Yeah, absolutely. It's vintage? Yeah. Yeah. All events. Oh, yeah, wow. This is very cool. Check it out. So, it was a pair of jeans. And some absolute genius. Libby Skender has upcycled it. She's got little belt buckles on the side. She's given it pleat action. How cool. So, it's like a mini peplum belt, I guess. Great colour on you. Yeah. But yeah, those you got shoulders for days there. Mm. Yeah, it's questionable. Problem solved. Yeah, you just gotta take them off. It. Or and just get you, that could put, you could put some more embellishment on there maybe. Yeah. yeah. Bling it out. Bling it out, sister. <laughs> so it's a dry cleaning tag, do you think? Yeah. And 87. Whoa. <laughs> that is crazy. Taffeta? Silk taffeta? Mm -hmm. Got a nice the belt in there. I mean, on the right person, I feel like it's so, so cool. Funny. I mean, I think you could rock it actually, or you Do could you even wear, you could even wear it as a jacket over that little knit dress that you found. Oh, I know that that was a nice dress. It just needs to be like it probably is. It's got the shoulders. Yeah, Look at that probably, pleating though. It's very theatrical. Yes. Actually, really beautiful. I'm sure someone will make it look beautiful. Looks like something Kit, Kit Willow would make now. 
And then the menswear, obviously, obviously like no brainer. Yep. T shirts, blazers, um, Levi's, jeans. Um, I tend to gravitate to there as well. Yeah, same. Um, and another tip, look everywhere. Amen to that. Because everywhere. <laughs> because you're going to only find the amazing things if you hunt. Yes. And it's time consuming, but it's worth it and it pays off. Life is a treasure hunt. Exactly. So just hunt away. Get amongst it. <laughs> Okay, had a good afternoon of thrifting and now I am off to an event which is all about dopamine dressing. Trying so. something a little bit different for me in the pants department. I'm going to a panel that's all about dopamine dressing. I don't think you get much more dopamine than silver sequin flares but so I don't look like I'm part of the dance recital. I have gone for something that is more kind of classic, timeless, elevated up the top. So this is a beautiful 100% wool, oversized on me, men's blazer. Lots of bling. Turn the collar up so it gives it almost like a mandarin collar. Now, I would love to do Tiny Bag Energy, but the only thing she fits is my lippy and my patience. So I'm going to have to go a slightly bigger bag, but I've blinged that up as well. I can fit my life in here. I can get around town, going to meet a friend after the panel. But of course, I have added some very cute little charms. These black shades, sparkly shoes as well. And as much as I'd love to wear heels, I may break my knee if I'm running around Melbourne City. Sensible heel. Still blingy though. Oh, and one more thing. It's going to get really cold here in Melbourne later. Do I go this collar for extra drama? I think I just answered my own question. Okay, better go. See ya. So now I, I see colour, but interestingly, uh, I see colour in a whole different way, um, but it keeps me connected to culture, it keeps me connected to what's really important to me as a First Nations person, and it also too connects me to other First Nation communities around Australia, and, um, uh, and that's kind of a really important part for me. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's, I think it's really exciting to think about what colour means and, and how we feel around it. I get a lot of clients, you know, telling me I cannot wear a red lipstick or I'm not a lipstick person or a smoky eye person. What I'm telling you, go back today, put on that red lips, walk around the house and then see how you feel about it. You know, just push yourself uh, out of the comfort zone. Nobody needs to, to know and, and, and try something new. Beautiful, yeah. Melissa. I love your fit. I hear it's thrifted. It is thrifted. Talk me through it. The dress is a vintage Charlie Brown Ooh. that I picked up on eBay and I think I paid about $30 for it. Yeah, you did. The handbag came from the Salvos Yay. up at North Melbourne and I think it was about $5. I was there today. There you go. I love no, North Melbourne Salvos, my Salvos. The clothes is actually Ralph Lauren Ooh. and I picked that up at a thrifted shop somewhere in, I'm going to go South Melbourne. Love. The shoes are the only thing not thrifted. Look, we're matching. Mine are <laughs> I know, thrifted. I know, look. The sparkles, pointies. Well, you're rocking it, my friend. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. You too. <laughs> of Shopulence, baby. Love your fit. Thank you. Talk us through it. Okay, so today I'm wearing this um, rather sort of colourful, I guess colourful, it's like a tunic kind of skirt really with a wrap to it. So um, it's, a, it's a great material. It feels good to wear, which is the most important thing whenever I find a skirt. As you know, with getting Joshua Brown, it's all about men in skirts, you know, not being a rock star, movie star, or a musician or whatever. It's about normal people being able to wear what they want to wear, normal guys, normal girls, whatever, um, and just mixing up a bit. So most of my skirts are, are from op shops. This is from an op shop as well. Love it. Uh, and obviously I've got my Dr. Martins on. Can't go wrong with a black trucker hat. You literally um, can't. It's one of my favorite things. Yes, As exactly. are dog boots. Yes, exactly. Well, I've, got the, I've got the tassel loafers on at the moment. This is the fit check for tonight. It's been a wonderful evening. It's great to be phase plus one for a rather privileged as always. Happy to have you as my boss. Oh, it's so amazing. We've had so much fun tonight. It's Thank you great. so much. It's been awesome. What 
in the faux fur collar is this Melbourne weather. But seriously, I love it because it means I can bring my layering game in strong. Okay, day two Melbourne. I'm sure you can hear the trams. Very iconic Melbourne. Hope you enjoyed the recap from last night. It was amazing. Today I'm going thrifting two stores, Southern Cross Salvos and also Abbotsford Salvos. I've got a laneway runway show to check out tonight. So let's do it. I have just turned up to the Salvos and look at this incredibly dapper chap <laughs> that I have stumbled across. Dylan, tell us about your epic fit. Um, well, everything other than the shoes. Uh, actually, my pocket watch is also, um, I got that uh, from the, I think it's the Victoria Market. Love. Um, and the shoes, the glasses. Uh, my pocket square has all been thrifted. Uh, not in Australia, back home in New Zealand. Um, Shout out to New Zealand. Uh, Rembrandt, they're a pretty big company. 100% wool too, look at that. Yeah, I think they've run, uh, they don't run anymore um, back home. They're, they're out of business, but there's a lot of these jackets back home. But yeah, the, the jacket and the pants for full suit uh, was $25 for me. Oh my gosh, so, you are speaking my language. It was a very, very good steal. Uh, my cufflinks as well. See, it's the details for me. Yeah. Like, it's. I love all those little finishing touches. Oh, yeah. It just makes it even better. Have you always been a thrifter? Uh, I wouldn't say so. It probably wasn't until I actually started dressing in suits. I mean, yeah. uh, like I was saying earlier, you wouldn't believe it, but I'm a massive metalhead. I love that. And uh, You're in a band. I am in a band. I'm a drummer and a vocalist. What's um, the band? Uh, the band's called Caldera. So we're a sludge metal band. But love uh, that. Do you dress like this when you're in the band? Yeah, yeah. No, Epic. yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll dress like this on the drums. Prior to that, though, I had like a battle jacket that I made with like, that I sewed, sewed patches on with spikes yes. and everything like that. I used to wear like a bullet belt and docks and all, all that good stuff. I just had a change internally within me. And I think I always aspired to dress this way from a young age, being exposed to jacket. James Bond and all that sort of elegant elegance of men. So that's where um, I think deep within me I aspired to dress this way. And then one day I decided to, and uh, I haven't really turned back. Every day I dress this dress this way. So and isn't fashion just so powerful like that for it how is. it can make us feel and like the message that we put out into the world? Like it's literally as soon as I turned up here, I was like, I need to talk to you. Oh, <laughs> probably going to surprise you as well. Um, I got this hat for $7. Do you know the brand Stetson? Yes, of course. Stop. You are a thrift ninja. I, I came across, I just came across, I went in there. It was not in this condition. I had to reshape the crown and everything. Wow. Um, but this hat's fully 100% beaver fur. So it's, be the foul. It's wow. uh, yeah, probably the highest quality hat. I have no idea how much it would have been brand new, but well over a couple hundred bucks for certain. So if you could give us one thrift tip, what would it be? Um, I would probably have to say don't limit yourself to one store. Uh, go to quite a few, spread yourself around and know what you're looking for. Every time I go in there, I sort of know the range. I mean, it's pretty like easy for me. I know what I want to look for. Um, and sometimes I'll come across things uh, that will just be, they'll just stand out to me and I'll be like, oh, okay. But yeah, I would say don't, don't limit yourself to one store. Get, get around to as many stores as you can um, and just, yeah, you'll never, you'll never know what you might find. I mean, we've got a couple of local stores at home and that's basically where I got all this from. And over a, a different time period, not all at once, but you just go and you just you'll go one day and there'll be something completely different that you've never seen before so life yeah. is a treasure hunt it is it is so good to meet you it's lovely to meet you too Faye. you're awesome <laughs> thank you <laughs> it's the layering for me it's the ruffles for me oh gorge thought it was a dress but oh no she's a onesie i feel like oh her pockets too i feel like someone could rock that i don't know if i could but i do appreciate it We love a silk tie. I love this. Love a turtleneck. Love a zebra. Seven bucks. Good tunes too. Green is 50% off. We love that. Excellent. 
I just found another like whole section. So here. How cute. Oh, belts. Gotta have a look there in a sec. But let me show you the rest. Change rooms here. Very cute. Here for the dramatic music. Oof. Thrift Symphony. How fantastic. Oh my gosh. Sized. Could be good. Five bucks. Okay, quick little pit stop back at the hotel because I had to charge my phone. So I thought I would show you quickly what I found at that thrift store. It was so tiny but mighty. It had an incredible vibe and absolutely obsessed with the record player pumping out the Mozart. I mean, what? <laughs> What an incredible mood, right? So I found a couple of really cute things and something that I need your advice on. So let's get to it. This gorgeous zebra print high neck top, which is gonna be perfect for Melbourne because it's even colder tomorrow and I didn't really bring enough apart from my faux fur collar. It was seven bucks, but it was half price. So I got it for $3.50. Amazing. This is going to be so great under blazers and really good layering piece. So love that. I got the Harlem tea. I love Harlem with five bucks. Love the green, love the font, beautiful designer leather belt which is going to become one of my brooch belts on the Opulence website so stand by for that one it's really good quality and it's a little bit shorter in length so it'll be good for my petite peeps and lastly I got these shoes they are very 2000s Y2K maybe even 90s I mean, I love that tiny little heel. Isn't it great? Can you see the awesome snout? It's a nice long pointy toe snout. So the deal with these, they were 20 bucks, but I got them for 10 because the leather on the base of the shoe is fantastic, but the straps were starting to peel and one of the buckles was broken. But I got them anyway, because I'm thinking I could either use velvet ribbon which would look glorious right or can you actually get replacement heel straps i'm gonna have a look on etsy amazon see what's on there or maybe boot makers have them i don't know but if you've got any ideas or if you've got any intel on that hit your girl up but i just couldn't resist the shape and i tried them on with my jumpsuit and socks and they looked amazing so yeah 10 bucks, fantastic quality leather shoe. Don't think it's really been worn. Look at the sole. But it was just the straps that let them down. But the bones are good. And sometimes when I'm thrifting, I, you know, if the bones are that good and I can do something with it or elevate it, I would still much rather do that than buy something new. So that's my train of thought with that. All right, phone should be charged now. Let's get back out there and head to another thrift store. Okay, there she is. Let's go. Okay, the hat's on. It's time to get serious. Salvo Stores, Abbotsford. She's a big one. Let's do it. Told you it was a giant. Oh my gosh, where to start, where to start, where to start? A little faux sailoron or ain't Laron, if you will. See what I did there? You're welcome. I always have a look in these little baskets because you never know what you're going to find. Cute little wallets or you know, interesting things that you could like reimagine. Little Y2K moment there. Sometimes, I'll see, look. Got a Tory Birch love for five bucks. Looks like it's real too. I mean, what a vibe. 
right color. Hello. Is it a dress or a jacket? Or could it be both? I can never go past leopard print. Becoming a problem at this point. Cute shirt dress. Game bucks. Pretty colour, beautiful sleeves. See, popping out from the rack. That's what I always investigate further. $13. Here we go. $10 for a nice little navy blazer. Lots you could do with that one. And just like that, we're home. Hello, brooches. Oh my lord, this is a good mother load here. I really like that one. She's giving lotus vibes. I might have to get a closer look on that one. Oh, some crystals in there for my hubby. I might have to get him one of them. Gucci Wale, and then we've got some Balenciaga happening in the back there. Some coach. It's so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so 3D. I know. I, initially I was like, oh, it's like a lotus, but then it's kind of, well, sort of, look. Oh, I love it. Okay, that's a definite. And then, is that a brooch as well? But sorry, chicks, I'm off to the men's. Let's see what's down here. I always look into belts. Love a good belt. Great way to switch up an outfit. You can also layer them. I mean, you can do whatever you want, really, but... You know, if you get like a thicker one, then you can layer like a skinny one like this over the top. This pink one, wow. She's a moment. Giving Valentino rock start. For five bucks. Shoes with a little drama on the toe here. So heavy. How beautiful. <coughs> Love that logo. I'm a fan of the collar though, but oh, look at the back. Oh. Wow. I like the idea of doing something different with these bike shirts or like, you know, soccer jerseys, upcycling them somehow because the print is really cool and interesting. All right, Russell Sprout. What a vibe. Brand inside says irregular choice, if you want to do your research. Wooden sole, look at the detail on the sole as well. Same brand. Another jazzy shoe. I mean, this just goes to show you, look everywhere. This gorgeous vintage lady was hanging out in the shoes. How'd you get here, love? That feather detail. 19 bucks. Gosh, look at the inside. Looks like it's been hand done, maybe. Stunner. Proving again that you should look everywhere. I don't think this is kids, but it's in the kids section. And that maybe it is. Yeah, it would have to be. Oh my gosh, my little neighbour would look so beautiful in this. But look, it's Perry Cutton, which is an Australian label. Bless you. Which is an Australian label, and it is. 17 bucks. How divine is that lace? Love a good vintage fabric pattern. I use them to wrap gifts. I think they look great in like, you know, displays. And they all tell a story. Very cool. Oh, puppy dog. What a great painting. And we shall knight him. So thrift a lot. A little Bottega dupe. See, this is why you should always look in the lingerie and sleepwear section. But to me, this looks like a proper Japanese kimono. And how gorgeous is this artwork? On one sleeve and on the back. And look at the drama those sleeves. Oof. Lining too. Absolutely beautiful. 23 bucks. Gosh, that's heavenly. Okay, leaving her here for the next lucky three. Happy travels. Love all the graffiti in Melbourne. 
Check out this little guy. Cool beanie, bro. Well, that was fun. I didn't get any clothes because I did travel here with carry-on, so I have to be very mindful, very demure. But I got this gorgeous brooch, and I got a crystal for my crystal-obsessed hubby. Loved that kimono, but it just wasn't quite the right fit, and I don't have room in my luggage. So if you're in Melbourne, go get her because she's beautiful. All right, I'll see you soon. Thanks for thrifting with me. Mwah is time for my kind of fashion show in the street free open to everybody in a cool melbourne alleyway it's in the heart of the city so i wanted to bring a nod to all of the high-rise buildings the business peeps that gather and work around there everything i'm wearing is thrifted from the salvos minus the kicks this suit 100 percent wool beautiful like navy but kind of almost a bit royal blue it feels like pajamas i got this beautiful bodysuit like top today southern cross salvos such a cute store tiny but mighty they had a vintage record player pumping out mozart lots of little goodies the thrift vibes were mwah, immaculate this tie 100 percent silk done by an artist in the 2000s off duty relaxed vibe but i love that pop of color and that print clash with the zebra got this gorgeous brooch today she came from salvo stores in abbotsford now let's talk accessories do we go white sunnies or black i say white custom thrift picks up the white that good old melbourne weather is going to drop again later look i could definitely do the faux fur number again and let's get amongst the fashion darling Imagine by 2030, a Melbourne where no one sleeps on the streets. So they've got these little Fashion Week pop-ups around the city and I'm just out walking and I saw this one. How cool. In front of this incredible building. Pre-airport pit stop. It's such a cute store. Nice and big. Where should I go first? Oh my lord, look at all this jewellery. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Stand by. Did you know I was coming? Because look at all these brooches. Look at the elephants. So cute! 